HowlifeBrot17 here with a quick review of Final Fantasy for the NES. Let's dive right in with the story. Basically, the story is a typical Rescue the Princess story. At least that's how it starts out. And then it branches off into this huge, into this huge quest to Revitalize the crystals. Revitalize the crystals held by the four light warriors that you control, and bring peace back to the world. Those four warriors, you can act. Those four warriors of, are of your choosing, essentially. You can choose from. You can essentially choose from a fighter, black belt. Red Mage, White Mage, and Black Mage. Again, it's at your discretion who you want to choose. Which brings us into the gameplay. I'm I'm used to I'm used to the well-known Nintendo RPG Pokemon. So this one threw me through a little bit. For example, instead of buying. Instead of buying your, instead of learning techniques as you level up, you, you of course have to acquire them from shops in different places like that. It's also instead of um, well, instead of. Well, I guess you do level up like you would in Pokemon, but you know, I guess that's the major, that's the major difference, I guess. Other than that, it's your standard what random encounters with many, many, well, I can't say it's a variety of enemies, but a, bu a bunch of monsters you'll find, essentially. Anyway... Sounds pretty good for an NES game, such your standard tunes, blips, and bloops. The music is actually very good. If you want to hear the music for yourself, you, I would suggest you check it out. Also, as for the difficulty, like in other RPGs. Difficulty is really what you make of it. If you decide to grind and grind and grind, this game can get really easy. But I also caution that it would make it kind of repetitive. The, the grinding would be repetitive. If you choose not to grind and try to push on, it can get really tough. Especially since this is an NES or an NES game. And they are known for their difficulty. As for the question of whether we'll be playing Final Fantasy as part of Let's Play, we'll see. I'm not sure. Po Pokemon Yellow is taking me a while to get through as it is, so I don't know. I haven't even beaten this game, so we'll see. Oh, the graphics, they're, they're okay, they're good for the NES, I guess. I don't, they're not, I, I, I don't see them as spectacular, but they're good. So yeah, when the graphics, sound, story, gameplay. I guess this is it. I'd also like to thank Viz for for the ability to use this footage essentially. And and 
that's about it. This has been a quick review of Final Fantasy for the NES. Would I recommend it? Yeah, I'd recommend the remix over it. Pick up Dial of Souls if you want a, a, a better experience here. This is a good game. I'm not going to deny that, but considering that it's it's remake has not only better graphics but a bit better pacing and as well as auto targeting system an auto targeting system so you're not forced to spread out your forces every time you want to fight multiple enemies I suggest the remake over this one anyway you want to pick this up you can it's a good game there's no doubt even what even even though I said it's better to pick up three days you can pick up it's not there anyway it's Hall of Pride 17 signing off I will leave you to the rest of this gameplay and by the way I know I suck at this don't worry
Thank you.